Hey, what is up? My name is Citizen Meta One, and today, very excited, I'm testing out a new full body tracking system called Vicon. It's a Vicon optical motion capture system. So there's lots of cameras looking back at me and I'm wearing one of the old school traditional mocap suits that has all the little silver markers or little spheres all over my body. And it's giving me an incredibly nice real time. This is all completely live right now. A very nice real time solve for my body. Uh, I'm not showing the feet. The feet contacts are one of the best and most stable part of this system. However, today I'm just testing out for the first time doing full performance capture. So I'm doing my face with an iPhone. I'm recording audio. I'm doing a full body solve where I am walking around in a scene, live recording it into Unreal Engine. And for the first time, still very new to me and I'm working on the multiple things that have to happen to get this to look right are the hands. So this is the most basic hand solve that you can do with Vicon. And it's very basic, right? Uh, we don't have full finger articulation. We basically get open hand, closed hand, open hand. And we can do a little bit of splaying like this. And the reason I'm starting with this is because this only requires me to wear three markers on my hands. I wear a little sphere on my, they're basically like rings. I basically wear a ring on my thumb one on my pointer and one on my pinky. So it's very light. I'm not wearing full gloves. I just have three rings basically on my hands and I basically can then have open hand, closed hand. So it's the most basic one they have. You can then add more markers if you want to and you'll get even more finger articulation. Because right now I can't do single finger things very well. It's basically for like loose gesturing and not have the hands be perfectly flat like the, the whole time. It's going to give me just a little bit of movement while not restricting me in the real world. I can still touch. I could play with my mouse and keyboard. I could type. I could play the piano. I could play the guitar pretty easily like this. So um, really the first test. It's taken me a while to get this up and running. I had to recalibrate the system today. Um, but uh, so far, I really like the results. Uh, I definitely next will be trying out the more involved, more detailed finger solver. However, for simplicity, I feel like when I'm generally performing for anything live, uh, I'll probably stick to this kind of lightweight hand solver. And uh, when I go into post and I like record this to Unreal Engine to take recorder and then use that in a video game or use that for like a cinematic, I'm going to be cleaning up the hands anyway. Now, for some reason, who knows why the camera has switched to a wide shot. I didn't ask it to switch to a wide shot. I wish that it didn't, but this actually gives me an opportunity to now be in an extremely wide shot. So you can see how nice the foot contacts are right now. I don't know why we're in a wide shot. Unreal Engine, what happened here? Uh, why would this have switched to a wide shot? It really doesn't make sense. Of all the things to go wrong in this situation, uh, the Unreal Engine side of it just randomly deciding to switch cameras, I really don't understand. But anyway, here we are in my very wide shot. And uh, I'm very excited to go bring this into post, check it out, and I'm posting it here on the Citizen Meta 1 channel first because I'm still workshopping things. So I feel more okay putting my like kind of test clips like this uh, on this channel while I'm testing out new performance capture systems. And then once it's all kind of like put together and nice, I tend to make longer videos, uh, vlogs, and breakdowns on my main channel, which is Cinematography Database. So that wraps it up for the very first time for me doing Vicon full performance capture uh, with a MetaHuman and the results are looking pretty good, pretty happy with this. And I'll see you on the next video. I have not added my eye contact system to this yet, uh, but it's still pretty nice. So in the wide shot, hey, I don't know why we're in this wide shot, but uh, it's looking pretty good.